Hey what's going on guys my name is Ravi and welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial from Mira FX. So in this video we'll be learning to make this dancing text animation in a very simple way. So to start off I'll first create a new composition. I'll name this dancing text 1920 by 1080 p resolution seems fine to me with the duration of 5 seconds and I'll hit OK. So now the first thing is to create a background. So I'll click on this layer, go to new and create a new solid. I'll name this background and this color seems to be fine to me and I'll hit OK. So now we have a background layer created and I'll click on this T button here so that will enable the type tool and I'll type in some random text here so I'll type in dancing text so I'll select the entire text here and go to the character panel here and from Arial I'll choose a very funky font in this case I'll use a font called amazing kids I'll attach a link in the description so you can just download it right away and I'll change the color to something sort of green color like this. So to enhance the text here, so I'll go to the effects panel in the effects and presets, I'll type in drop shadow. So you have this drop shadow effect in the perspective folder. I'll just drag this onto my text layer. I'll increase the distance a bit, increase the softness a bit so that we'll have some shadow added to our text layer and this is looking fine. So now we'll be animating our text layer. To do that, expand the text here and from animate, add a property called position and add another property called rotation. Once you do that, in the animator one, you have an add option here. Simply go to selector and add wiggly. Once you do that, you can see that we have wiggly selector properties and change the Y axis of the position to around 25 and then change the rotation value to around 15. Once you do that, if I start playing the video, this is how our text starts dancing. All right, this looks fine to me. So now we'll be adding a popping out effect to this dance animation. So to do that, click somewhere outside and from animate, make sure you select this scale property. Once you do that, you can see that a scale property is added and now expand this range selector and reduce the scale value to zero. Okay. And now click on this timer button here for offset. Make sure you are at the first frame and move to around one second forward and change the offset value to 100. Once you do that, if I start playing the video, you can see that each one of the character is popping up and thereby it will continue having the dancing text effect. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing, you can always reach out to me on Instagram. See you guys next time with another tutorial.